And that's how we opened a portal to the netherworld and summoned the Undertaker to the Earth Realm so I could defeat him and cement my Hall of Fame legacy. Uh, we're fine, thanks. I told you they wouldn't believe it. You know what? None of that crazy stuff ever happened. I mean, I mean sure, I, I beat The Undertaker, you all witnessed that, but, but could you imagine all that other wacky stuff? <laughs> Portals and Marsh Ladies and Papa Shango? <laughs> yeah, gotcha, joke's on you. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's get back to things that actually happened. Like when I was the longest reigning women's champion of the modern era, holding the SmackDown Live Women's Championship for over two and a half years. The following contest is a Hell in a Cell match and is for the SmackDown Women's Championship! It's a big fight feel here tonight as the title is on the line. And title matches like this have a way of getting your blood flowing unlike any other match. But this is about as big as it gets right now. And the question in everybody's mind is, can she respond to this pressure? There's no doubt in my mind she can handle this, Michael. You don't reach the top of the mountain without knowing how to handle pressure. is on the line here tonight. And in looking at the opposition, I can say that the champion will have quite the hill to climb in this one. How about you, Bonner? Do you think the challenger has a legitimate chance here tonight? Of course I do, Michael. That's the beauty of the WWE. Any superstar can beat any other superstar on any given night. Introducing the challenger, Tony Storm! And introducing the champion from Columbus, Ohio, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Ray. We're about to see which woman rules the landscape around here. The women's champion posted on social media today, nothing makes me happier than decimating whoever dares approach the peak of my mountain. Strong foreshadowing words for her opponent. Well, it might be unfortunate then that her challenger possesses the ability to move mountains and might shove the champ clean off the top. Oh, that was just malicious. Out. A well-aimed strike. Producing a trampling. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. Ed Scissor applied. Oh. 
What a poop! Ooh, nasty impact. Wow, she turned that one around. Wendy Richter, Trish Stratus, Sherry Martell, Lita. So many great Hall of Famers helped make the Women's Championship the prestigious prize it is today. It is almost impossible to prepare for hell on earth, but Corey, what is the key to coming out on top in this one? You gotta do things you never thought you'd have to do before, that you never wanted to do before, because this is an environment like no other. The competitors must channel a primitive, barbaric version of themselves. What I like about Tony Storm, besides her in-ring ability, of course, is just how unapologetic she is about being herself. She has no problem saying that she has the, quote, complete attitude. And if her opponent doesn't like it, well, they have to deal with that head-to-head, -head, face to face. I wasn't expecting that. She ducks out of the way there. Oh, had that well scouted. Oh, what a forearm! Can you imagine the celebration that will take place? Probably into the wee hours of the morning. If we crown a new champion here tonight. Oh, boom! Oh, oh, swept the leg right out from under. Oh, man, jarring headbutt. Here she goes, back in the ring now. Great reflexes. What are we gonna see here? the way from the top rope. At this juncture, you have to wonder if these superstars can keep up this pace. They're certainly being taken into the deep waters now. She's got that gleam in her eyes. And I think we just might see the champ has this one in hand now. There may be no coming back from that slam, Cole. Gets the shoulder up. Wow. What's it going to take? Dangerous. She returns the favor there. Big move coming. Incredible drop. The champ taking their share of hits now. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. Changes her fortune there. Oh, it didn't go 
as planned there. She kicked out there. There she goes. She's looking to kick this thing into high gear out here near the savage steel hell in a cell. Inside the ring now. She's dazed in the corner there. Uh-oh. We're gonna see it. Power. She's toying with her now. She wants it one more time. The title's going nowhere. Kiss your dreams. Good night. Unleashing it a second time. Not quite. Champ to the top turnbuckle. Look out! Oh, again! Into the pin attempt. Two! The single match is cut going on. Wow! A lot of good action in that one. Here's another look. Critics of these ladies in the WWE might not have been very impressed, but they did do some nice things in there. Overall, this match was average at best. But not every match is going to be memorable. In fact, I've almost forgotten it happened already. Here is your winner, and still the SmackDown Women's Champion, Bree. Now that's an eye-opening victory. Hey, she was the better woman of the two tonight. It's that simple. What a spectacular championship match it was, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us. Our record-breaking SmackDown Live Women's Champion is ready to address the WWE Universe. Since I defeated Mickey James over two and a half years ago, I've had the privilege of defending this championship against the very best female competitors in WWE. But when you're the longest reigning women's champion in the modern era, it's only natural you start to look for new ways to challenge yourself. And considering it's a little wild west around here right now with no GM, I figured this was my chance to do that. So I thought about doing an open challenge, but that's a little played out. I could force myself to win with the four or five count, maybe, or I could do something really unprecedented and defend my title against male superstars. So what do you think? It's Becky Lynch and her 
savages. Uh, nothing good ever happens when they come around. That's well, your opinion, Saxton. Personally, I think they're one of the best things going today on SmackDown Live. Well, whether you like them or not, you can't deny the influence they have over WWE. I'm not arguing with that. Ever since Becky Lynch took control of this faction, she's pretty much been able to do whatever she wants, except for taking that SmackDown Live Women's Championship away from Red. I have a feeling that could change real soon. So you want to give yourself new challenges like five counts or facing men? Well, I have a better idea. How about you forget all that and face the man? <laughs> it's funny you still throw around that title after all these years. I mean, I'm the one who's held an actual title longer than anyone since the 1970s. So I'm pretty sure that makes me the man. <clears throat> I am the man because I'm the leader of the most powerful force this sport has ever seen. And that's when there's someone in charge. So just think of what we're capable of when no one's steering the ship. So unless you want to find out what happens when we have free reign, I suggest you give me my title match tonight. If you didn't hear me the first time, I'm looking for new challenges not rematches against played out losers I've already beat. And you and your crew trying to intimidate me isn't going to change that. Besides, everyone knows you're just all bitch and no bite. <laughs> oh, well, if you're not gonna give me a title match, then I'll just have to beat one out of you. Boys, little help. I'm going to show Red here my bite. Red is severely outnumbered here. So far, Red's holding her own. Not anymore. Becky Lynch is showing Red that she's not just all talk. Here comes Trey to help his best friend. I admire his courage, but Trey has no chance against these guys. It's it's four on one. I told you, Becky and her savages are one of the best parts of SmackDown Live. It's clear that unless she can somehow even up the sides, Red faces an uphill battle to hold on to her SmackDown Live Women's Championship. I think you're looking at the man who's going to end Red's record-breaking title reign. We gotta get even with Becky and her savages. How are we gonna do that? We're at a five on two disadvantage. We saw what happened out there and we wanna help. Great, where were you 15 minutes ago? We all had severe simultaneous leg cramp syndrome or SSLCS. It's a real proven medical condition that can occur when superstars team as long as we have and their body's ailments become synchronized. Uh, I don't think they're buying it. Look, the truth is that we didn't want to get involved in your business. And we know sometimes certain people can be a bit stubborn about wanting to do things on their own. He's talking about you. Nah, it could be anyone. It's fine. I know I'm stubborn, but I'm not stupid. I can recognize when we need help. So we'll take it. Thank you. So do we do like a secret New Day handshake now or something? How about you two rest up and next week we'll see what we can do about Becky and her crew. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Oh, leg cramp acting up again. Uh, you, you guys feeling it too? You can stop that now.
Not long after my issues with Becky Lynch heated up, SmackDown Live filled its open GM position. We were excited to see who it was. Well, until we saw who it was. Brooklyn Von Braun is the new GM of SmackDown Live. Apparently she's traded MMA and Hollywood for WWE. This is crazy. This isn't crazy. It's genius. Thank you. I'm so excited to be the new general manager of SmackDown Live. Did you just come out here, interrupt us, and say SmackDown Live? She definitely said that, and I have 20-20 hearing. Uh, you're off to a good start as GM. Please, continue. Knowing that I was up for this gig, I watched the show last week for the first time, and I have to say, I didn't like what I saw from you, Red. Instead of accepting Becky Lynch's challenge, you resorted to cheap insults, which led to Becky having no choice but to defend herself. So, Red, you said last week you wanted new challenges? Well, I have one for you. You're going to defend your women's championship in the first ever best out of five team match. It will be a one night series of singles matches between Red, Trey, and your buddies The New Day, taking on Becky Lynch and her savages. If Red's team wins the series, she retains her title. If Becky's team wins, she is the new SmackDown Live women's champion. She just said it again. The name of your show is SmackDown Live. Say it with me. SmackDown. Town makes more sense, but whatever. Guys, guys, we're losing track of the fact she just put us in a best out of five series for Red's title, which seems super unfair. I mean, who would do such a thing? Who? 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 Hey, I know we formed an alliance, but that's kind of our thing, okay? With all due respect, you're really stacking the deck against Red, so I have an idea that would help even things up a bit. You give our team home field advantage. That's right. If Red's putting her title on the line under these circumstances, then the series should take place on our turf. What kind of turf are we talking? Synthetic or natural? Because I prefer a natural tall fescue. I meant more of a New Day home arena vibe, but we could look into the fescue. I like what you're thinking, except Becky's team should have an equal opportunity to secure home field advantage. So later tonight, it will be Red and a team member of her choosing versus Becky and a partner of her choice. The winner of that match will earn home field advantage for their team in the best out of five series. Who's it gonna be, Red? Yeah. yeah. Who? 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 That was a test, and you passed. Good job. There's really not a bad choice, unlike the choice of Brooklyn as GM. Ooh, she just laid the smack town on her. <laughs> so I'm going to team with... 